On three. One. <laughs> two. Oh, 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 oh my god. I might need to change my diaper. No, for real. What just happened? In today's video, we will be doing a, oh God. Wow. Wow. All right, that's the thing. That's the thing. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing a 2018 Tesla Model 3 Performance. All-wheel drive, zero to 60 in like 3.2 seconds. I have never driven an electric car, so this is going to be very, very interesting. We're gonna do a little walk around of the car right now. Check out the little quirks, little tweaks, and all these little fun things. It's called the fun box. What's it called? The party box? Um, What's the feature where you could do the, or, the little Easter eggs where you like it, the, the seats will like fart and stuff. It's, it's definitely pretty interesting. We're gonna check it out right now. So I've already learned a bunch of stuff in the last about 15 minutes of just walking around in the car, but I got to introduce you to the man, Tim here, and it's 2018 Tesla Model 3 Performance. All the performance ones are all wheel drive. Yeah. So that means the dual motor. Well, there is also dual motor long range non-performance also interesting yeah and the difference between is it's performance performance so, <laughs> <laughs> pretty yeah. much it's just like a little bit faster or yeah, whatever so right performance performance from the non-performance i believe you get like a second and a half quicker with the performance oh shit and top speed is really different so that is like 130 top speed okay and this is 163. okay and you were saying this has or it was before the update about like 450 horsepower yeah 450 and then the torque was right around the same you were saying yeah, but like about, about above 450 closer to maybe 500 something like that um definitely definitely pretty fast and do you know how much this thing weighs uh i don't know close to 5,000 pounds I did not know that. Why is it so fast? I'm confused. Maybe because it has torque right away. Do we 4, know this? 4,900. 4,900. So practically 5,000 pounds. Oh my god. It's a big girl. Yeah. But it's quick. It's quick. We're definitely going to find out. <laughs> We're definitely going to find out. So as far as the interior and everything, the most simplistic interior I've ever seen. Yeah. One screen. Mm -hmm. Controls That's everything. It. Controls everything. the whole car. Window controls. On all doors, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, pretty much doors. You got window control and egg. and this get is how you actually then... get out, which is just a button. Yep. You press that, boom, and you get out. And then obviously you could tell the interior very, very simplistic. All you got is a steering wheel. All you need, and then the screen that does absolutely everything and more. And there's some interesting things we're gonna check out later. So as you could tell, the outside of the car is slightly different than it would be from factory. Well, we can just go over the little things that you've done here and there and things that you might not have noticed unless you knew. So, we could talk about the things you've done. You wrapped it, which mm -hmm. is, is this 3M or Avery? This is 3M. And the color is? It's uh, matte metallic gray. Excellent. And do you have a reason why you chose this color? Because um, <laughs> it's close enough to the sock one? Well, I was picking between like three different colors. Uh -huh. So this was one, um, and then there was a fury orange. Okay. And the rocky yeah like a, the not, 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 not great yeah yeah mm -hmm. so, and then yeah. these little things that you thought i thought was pretty cool is you put the stickers on mm -hmm. and then you could see through the wrap all these little guys and it looks like you're a fan of adam's polishes shout out to adam's polishes look how sick that is yeah, it came out like super super well yeah very very impressive and then you were saying you did a little bit of a tail light tint yep excellent and then this you said is from a third party company because yeah. it doesn't normally say tesla here but this is it the x or the s or what one both, has it right there both of them or this this one does yeah. but now it does yeah <laughs> and is this like an oem upgrade yeah as well? so this is part of the performance upgrade package oh, okay or perf now performance mo oh. and then what else have you done i mean oh some sound deadening you were saying yeah so you went sound deadening <laughs> for, yeah. you, i mean it's just already... real quick you went from before owning this you had a what was it what year was it so the i have a 16 golf r uh -huh. and from there i went to a 17 raptor 
which had full exhaust. Yeah. You're saying Corsa? Corsa. Just ridiculously loud, freaking badass Raptor, and then you went to the most quiet. Yeah. That's the Model 3. Mm -hmm. Interesting choice, interesting yeah. choice. So as you can see, obviously the side here, stickers as well. And then powder coated the wheels. Yep, powder coated wheels. And then the mirror, car and fire mirror caps. And then, and I think that's pretty much. What else? It, oh, all the yeah. sound deadening inside. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Um, Cause you yeah. wanted to make it and even then, quieter. <laughs> also did the eyelids. Okay. And before, is it just a clear before? Yeah, it was um, white. Ah, a little bit more stealth. Yeah. The shark. I think this is probably one of my favorite features of it. Mm -hmm. The lights. Yeah, I mean, the, the real reason why I did that was because during foggy nights or rainy nights, because this is a frosted white originally, uh -huh. and at night when it rains or fog, it um, illuminates Interesting. the sky. So it was kind of like a safety <laughs> Weird. problem, which I don't know why Tesla didn't think of that. So huh. that's, that's really that's, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. So another cool couple things is how you get in the Tesla. It does have like a keyless entry, but you were saying your phone yeah. is the key. Phone is primarily the key with connectivity of Bluetooth. Okay. And the app, of course. Um, you know, just walk up to just like any normal keyless entry car. Yeah. Walk in, hop in, get in, and go. But getting out, getting it out, locks on its own. It locks on its own. So some Chevys does that. Yeah. You know. Um, but if your phone happens to die, mm -hmm. there's a backup key, which is which is just pretty much a credit card in your wallet. In your wallet, easy. And then you, I saw you just like yeah. touch it right so here. So just unlocks. That's it. Get in, and then just tap the key card down here, and then step on the brake to start and go. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Car's always on. It's yeah. just always ready to go. I don't think you guys understand how happy this car is making me. Yeah. This is like the greatest. I don't need my WX or the other WX. I'll sell both. I will sell both. We're going to find out. I'm way too excited to drive this thing. It's going to be super, super sick. We're going to take it on a little canyon ride. We're going to hop on the GoPro and I think we'll see you guys in one second. Let's see. No, no. Oh. <laughs> I, just re I just realized why acceleration is so gnarly is because A, who switches gears, not you. Yeah. Never. Not even once. Yeah. Well, besides going forward and backwards, but mm -hmm. oh my God. That is really bizarre. That's why it felt so foreign. Well, number one, I've never been in a car that accelerated that fast. But number two is it doesn't need shift. No. It's just It's a go. direct drive. You know, I think the gear ratio is like nine to one. Oh my God. So what would you say is like your if you have to choose one thing mm -hmm. over everything with this car, what is your number one? Um, and you can only choose one. Track mode. And then least favorite. Least which favorite. it seems like you love this thing, so I don't know what you would hate. But uh, I mean, like, what, what's not good? Like, there has to be something not good. There's no way this is perfect. I mean, it seems perfect, but... I mean, you know, they're... they're it, it's... Okay, t so Tesla is not a car company. That, that's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Tesla is not a car company. It's a tech company okay. that happens to build cars. That was a quote from the Bible, I think. <laughs> I'm just um, so there's gonna be bugs. Yeah. And that's pretty much, I think, the only thing that everyone hates yeah. bugs. And yeah. you know, there's bugs here and there, but every time, every few weeks or months, there's a new software update. So how do you update? Uh, over Wi-Fi. Just if you're out of your house. You're just, just, just out of your house or just hotspot mobile, whatever. Mm -hmm. Just download it and then it's just like an iPhone, literally. literally. Just like your phone. You know, you get a new software, you update it that night. So for, give us like an example of like a bug that would come up. Or you were telling me one earlier, right? Yeah, like so a, right now there's a, a weird seatbelt airbag, airbag thing, thing going yeah. on. Um, I don't know if that's actually happening because it doesn't always show up the message. Yeah. So I say just it periodically be, it comes. Yeah. So it's just random. And um, was there one before that that came up or this has been like the first one? Um apparently it's a known bug for a few cars. Okay. Um so we'll find yeah. out. And now I'm starting to notice this thing handles very well. Let's get out of track mode so we don't slide into a mouse. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and go to sport mode. It 
just makes you laugh. Yeah. It's like actually you hilarious. Have your personal roller coaster. This is just like, and there's perfect leg room. Mm-hmm. Get people in the back. Great no leg problem. room. Yeah. No issue. No issue. Yeah. It's just like. And the first thing I said, right when I got in here, the seats are unbelievably comfortable. Yeah. Like, it's like ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Like super, super plush. Yeah, soft, um, it's vegan crazy. friendly. I'm vegan. Yeah. Now you guys know I'm vegan. <laughs> anyway, oh my God, I don't even know what, like, what else yeah. to even say. But there's so many cool little things that will go at the end of the video, we'll show you guys with the screen. I still, I keep forgetting what it's called. Is it the fun box or the fun, uh, what's it called? Toy box. The toy box has all these little things where like, if you sit down in a seat or if you like, press the signal, it does like little fart things. Let's do that, how do we do that? It's great. I think the other hilarious one, I'll put some shots, some overlay shots right now. Uh, the romance or Valentine's yeah, Day bro- mode or whatever. Romance, romance just, mode. That is amazing. Or we can just call it romance. Or bromance, that's okay. You know, either way. It literally puts a fireplace on the screen. And, and it turns on the heater too. Shut up. So you literally, you feel like you're in front of a fireplace. That's incredible. So now we're gonna test out the autopilot and self-driving. So let's go ahead and try to do that. All you need to do is press that twice. Activated. And that's it. Let's, let's, let's slow it down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, relax. Relax. <laughs> oh, God. So it's going to see this car, hopefully, and we're not going to die. Oh, yeah, because it's reading the lines. So you can see the lines. It's... We're doing nothing. Yeah. Hey, who needs pedals or steering wheel? So it's going to stop? How's it going to do the stop? Well, it's, I hope not it's, yet. See, it's, that, that's yeah. the thing with autopilot yeah, is not, yeah. not available for. Yeah, it's just in case. Ah, yeah. sketchy. I mean, obviously this car is, is, oh God, don't do it. You're gonna do it, don't do it. This car is meant and designed, I feel like you're gonna hit it. Okay, don't kill this person. Uh, just like the ultimate daily, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much the absolute ultimate daily. And I feel like some people will kind of knock on it for taking the driver out of it, but I feel like you have to kind of get in the mindset of someone that's buying this car is most likely buying it for the ease of use, mm-hmm. pretty yeah. much, right? I mean, ease that's yeah. that's what it's clearly designed for. And it is it is actually quite relaxing. Yeah. Like very, very quiet, obviously. And also it is nice to drive, which I think some people might not give it credit for that. Which is, it's super gnarly in the mountains, handles very well, obviously super low center of gravity, having the heaviest part being in the middle, perfectly yeah. low, and mm-hmm. getting into a turn, it almost feels like it has sway bars because like Put all the weight's way. doing low. You know, this is compared with the BMW M3. Yeah. It pretty much does the same thing, if not better. Yeah. For less. It's like, what, what more do you want? Yeah. So performance model, I think, what was it? Starts at sixty, a little under sixty thousand dollars. Okay. M three, you're gonna be up in the seventy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like why? Why? I mean, obviously, I mean, I mean yeah. of course, we know. Like, okay, the sound, obviously, sound of that, and whatever rear wheel drive, which they actually make rear wheel drive, so that's not yeah. even the point. But it's like, I think people are, are now starting to accept electric cars that are actually opponents to these. Yeah. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go through all these little features that you were showing me earlier of little cool things, funny things, and also just how to navigate the screen itself. So I guess the first thing I want to see is the AC. Yeah. How to turn on the AC and how do so you do that? So AC is pretty much everything's right here. Mm-hmm. You know, turn it on, it's on. Okay. And then to adjust temperature, you know, you can just swipe, glide. Perfect. Yeah. You know. And I thought what was cool is you said the, this whole thing is the AC, not vents, just the entire front. Yeah. Where's the rear though? So oh, the rears are the rears just actually like that. Vents. Yeah. And then as far as like the directional, like how yeah. you actually. So to adjust airflow, you know, you can move it, but now you can also group them together. So it's whole, one whole thing. Dude, that's so, so weird. <laughs> you can feel that. I literally feel it moving. I think that was like the coolest part. Yeah. All right, where's the fun box? What's it called? The toy, toy box? box? The toy box. They keep yeah. calling it the fun toy box. Toy box. Yeah. Bam. So we got a lot of things in there. Um, sketch pad. 
Perfect. Oh. Excellent. And you can change colors. The red nose for Rudolph. Oh my god. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. And let's X take out of that. And then we got the farting. The far of course. E emission testing mode. Yes. Okay. Let's let's choose uh Falcon Heavy. Excuse me. Or uh boring. <laughs> But now, you know, give the car out to someone. Fart T turn turn on turn that one on. Turn and signal. Just close it. Let them drive it and have them turn on the turn signal. <laughs> no. Oh, they can't. Oh, what's this? Oh, this, we have games. This we have games. Um, all of these games. There's more games coming. This can be your best friend. Yeah. This you know, car this, can be your best friend. This is what you can do while you're supercharging or, mm. and so you're supercharging, they're everywhere. Yeah. And where they place it is like at a mall, at a restaurant. Apparently some of them are at, behind a gas station. Yeah. And there's one in LA, driving towards LA in Kettleman City is there's 42 stalls and has it has its own personal lounge oh my for God. Tesla owners only. <laughs> oh my so God. let's play. Let's choose the that character. Let's do performance mode because we're in performance mode. Of course, of course. Yeah. So you can use the brake to slow down. Oh my God! It's actually a game. Mm -hmm. Use the thing with a turn. Shut up. I say I'm using the brake to slow down. <laughs> My god. <laughs> oh my god. Up. This is like the most expensive Xbox you can ever get. Yeah. This is it. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're in a Tesla! Yeah, it's your you're own. In a car. little Tesla. It's your It's your own. car. It, it, yeah, uh someone zapped. And me. then you're dead. Oh, oh, set the mood, bro. Set the oh, mood. Yeah. Where's the mood at? Yeah. That's the one. So we turn it on, and now it's turning on the heater. But we're, we're not going to try to get copyrighted. Yes, we are. are we we? Get, we want to get copyrighted. Right. Where's the music at? I wish I could be oh. This is a different song than it was before. Yeah, you can change songs. Oh, shit. I need this to get girls, I think. This is what I need. This is almost too high tech for me. This might be too high tech. That's my it has everything. It has everything. It literally has everything. Yeah. So if you're not already sold on the Tesla Model 3, because I, I definitely am, I think I could definitely see myself in the future getting one of these, like for sure. Would I trade my Subaru for it? Right now I want to say yeah, because my Subaru is broken and it's <laughs> making me very upset. But, ah. I don't know. I'm not answering that question. I'm not going to answer that question. I'll let you know once I turn off the camera. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think of this car. Absolutely. I'm going to link his uh, Instagram down below. Mm -hmm. Do you have a personal and also a car page? So I have personal, like, car, and a detailer page. You're going to send me all those. Yeah. Perfect. So definitely give him a follow down below. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.